Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss the project about brain tumor classification using wavelight and texture based neural network. In this paper, then wavelet and texture based neural network method is proposed in order to classify the mr images into normal benign and malignant brain tumors images non overlap then provide the intervention of invasive techniques such as biosepsis then the features of methods it performed the classification of brain tumor using gaussian filter based future extraction method for glcm and some classification future extraction is carried out using gaussian and the approximation coefficients of mr brain images is used as future vector for classification it is concluded that classification using som resulted in a limited precision since it cannot work accurately for a large data due to the training complexity this this paper introduced the brain tumor classification using glcm for feature extraction and som for classification they concluded that som is a segmentation promising tool for brain tumor classification based on its fast speed and its accuracy hence it is this is work some som has been used for classifying brain tumors since it is considered to be SOM over the other neural networks in terms of its accuracy in classification. And the proposed method providing a new method in MR brain images. Pre-processing will be fine for input images by Gaussian filter. Then future extraction will be fine for images by GLCM in gray level go occurrence matrix future extraction. Then future extraction will be applied by SOM in classification. It will identify the normal and abnormal for input images. It's the black diagram of our project. First, we will load the input images for MRI. The next, pre-processing for Gaussian filter. Pre-processing is applied for the input images. Gaussian filter is removing noise processes done by Gaussian filter. Gaussian filtering is to replace each pixel values in an image by the Gaussian of its neighborhood. Gaussian filter is the result of blurring an image by a Gaussian function. It's heavily used to affect the graphic software, typically to reduce image noise and reduce retinal. Then the visual effect of this blurring techniques is a smooth blur resembling that of viewing the image through a translator screen. Then the different Gaussian phase smoothing is also used to pre-processing stage in computer visual algorithms in order to enhance image structures at different scale C. Scale space representation and an image is the same as converting the image with a Gaussian function. The next one is feature extraction using GLCM. GLCM is gray level co-occurrence matrix and associated texture feature calculations are image analysis techniques. Given an image composite of pixels each with an intensity, the GLCM is a tabulation of half of a different combination of gray levels go occur in an image or image section. Texture feature calculation use the contents of the GLCM to give a measure of a variation in intensity at the pixel of interest. The virtual variable is created in the following way. The GLCM texture is used to the sum quantities the image data each sample on the echogram is treated as a single image pixel and the value of the sample is the intensity of that pixels these intensities are the further quantized into a specified number of discrete gray levels or specified under quantization the next one is classification using SOM SOM is the neural networks are a different parad die uh, for computing when human and machines are based on the processing memory absorption of human information processing is why neural networks are based on the parallel architecture of animal brains then the neural networks are a form of multiprocessor computer systems with simple processing elements high degree of interconnection simple scalar messages the next one is normal benign or malignant categories are classified to using the this process then this is used to this the classification is one of the most frequently uh, decision making takes of human activity a classification problems occurs when an object needs to be assigned into a predefined group or class based on a number of observed attributes related to that objects any problems in business sciences industries and medicines can be treated as classification problems then the this classification is very useful to one major elimination of the statistical models is that the work will only when the underlying assumptions are satisfied now let's see about the execution but i am having main dot m file then select the file right click run file then here we have to select the input images 
the next pre-processing then gaussian filter will be fine for input images gaussian filtering is to replace each pixel values in an image by the gaussian of its neighborhood procedure of gaussian filtering sort the pixel values find the gaussian replace the pixel value by the gaussian process then the gaussian filtering is the smoothing is also used to pre-processing stage in computation algorithms in order to enhance scale space implementation the next one is GLCM feature extraction. It will be a GLCM feature extraction square matrix is the number of levels specified under quantization. The matrix is created as follows. Let S be the sample under consideration for the calculation. Let W be the set of samples surrounding sample S which evolved the within a window centroid upon samples S of the sizes specified under window sizes. Considering only the samples in the set of define each element of a GLCM as the number of times two samples of intensities. Then the spatial relationships in the intensity series between the sum of all elements ij this glcm will be the total number of times the specified special relationships occur the glcm symmetric make a transposed copy of the glcms then the normalized the glcm divided each element of the, uh, the sum of elements the elements of the glcm may now be considered the problem it is of finding relations. It calculate the selected features. This calculation uses the only the values in the GLCM. The GLCM several statistics information are derived using the different formulas. This statistics provide information about the texture of an image such as angular, second moment, entropy, contrast, inverse difference, moment, correlation, sum of square, sum of average, variance, entropy will be calculated for texture images. The next one is neural network classification. is one of the most frequently encountered decision making takes the activities. The classification problems occurs when an object needs to be assigned into a predefined group or class based on a number of observed attributes related to that objects. Many problems in business, science, industries and medicines can be treated by classification problems. In the classifications is used to the decisions is mad. One major limitation of the statistical models is that effectiveness of these methods depends on a large extent on the various assumptions or conditions under which the models are developed. Users must have a good knowledge of both data properties and the models capabilities. Then the neural networks have emerged as an important tool for classification. The reason is research activities in neural network classifications have established that neural networks are a promising alternatives to various conventional classification methods. The advantages of neural networks lies in the following theoretical aspects. First, neural networks are data-driven, uh, self-adaptive methods in that they can adjust themselves to the data without any explicit specifications of functional or distributional from uh, for the underlying model. Second, they are universal functional approximates in that the neural networks can approximate any functions with arbitrary accuracy. In the classifications are used to the, then this one for magnet, then abnormal and magnet categories then finally it will segment the image segmentations using the SOM process image segmentation is the process of partitioning a digital image into multiple segments set of pixels the goal of segmentation is to simplify and or change the representation of an image into something that is more meaningful and easier to analyze image segmentation is typically used to locate objects and boundaries in images more precisely image segmentation is the process of assigning a label to every pixel in an image such that pixels with the same label share certain visual characterizations the result of image segmentation is a set of segments that collectively cover the entire image or a set of contours con in extracted from the image segmentation. Each of the pixels in a region are similar with respect to some characterizations or computed property such as color, intensities or textures. Adjusted regions are significantly different with respect to the same character. The first region uh, methods were is the seeded region growing methods. Then the, this method takes a set of seeds as input along with the images. The seeds mark each of the objects to be segmented. The regions are relatively grown by comparing all unallocated neighboring pixels to the pix in regions. The difference between the pixels intensities values and the regions mean is used to measure the similarity. The regions in this process continues until all pixels are collected to a region. Seeded required seeds uh, as additional input. The segmentation results are depend on the choices of seeds. So, is considered to have major advantages over conventional neural networks due to the fact of SOM learns from the training data. Then, the, this 
speed of learning gives the SOM the capability of adapting its learning in real time. This method is automatically early deduction and classification of MR brain images into normal, benign and malignant based on this uh, statistical texture features, not the replaces conventional uh, techniques but also helps in reducing the uh, fatality rate. Thank you.